Well hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be compression testing the engine on my Fiesta ST. Um, I've got some exciting performance mods planned in the future for this so I want to make sure the engine's in good health. Uh, so the first step is to get everything warmed up, um, give the throttle a little prod, let it run for, for about 10 minutes or so while I talk you through all the tools and the process uh, for today's video. So clearly this is a 2 litre Duratec engine, uh, 4 cylinder uh, and I bought myself a lovely compression testing kit for the princely sum of £11 from eBay, made from finest Chinesium. You can see here uh, a gauge you press uh, to release the pressure, a uh, screw-in extension so you can get down uh, in the port, and a lovely press fit connector to lay to take it off. Um, I've also got my spark plug socket uh, with a magnet, uh, a bit of a breaker bar, and my torque wrench for making sure I put everything back properly at the end. So now uh, the engine's nicely up to temperature. Let's give it a few blips of throttle and then switch her off. So first step for me is now to pull the relays for the uh, fuel and for the ignition, just to make sure we don't have any issues when turning the engine over in a moment to understand the compression. So relays out of the way, um, two empty sockets, and then let's crack on. So obviously four plugs to pull. What a lovely sound. Okay, um, and obviously you need to remove uh, the spark plugs. Um, so fitting the socket on, getting the breaker bar, uh, just light hand pressure to free them up from the head. These were previously very seized in the engine. I don't think they'd been changed uh, for a little while, uh, but I've given it some TLC. Uh, it's all running nicely again at the moment. Um, so obviously now uh, we've broken the torque, uh, we can just spin those spark plugs, take them out. And as all good mechanics love to have a good stare at spark plugs like reading tea leaves uh, here in mine. Uh, so a little bit of soot build up, obviously running high octane fuel on this beast um, does lead to a little bit more coke than normal but they look absolutely fine. So now to wind in the um, extension, so you poke that down in the bore, make sure the threads are nice and clean first Henry before you pop it in. Uh, there we go, give it a twist uh, until it seats nicely and then make the push fit attachment onto the uh, pressure measurement device. So see this, this device reads in PSI and you basically turn the engine over uh, maybe four or five times until the pressure gauge uh, reaches its top position. So just keep your eyes on the gauge and you'll see it turning uh, very shortly. So you can see the needle jumping round. The moment of truth, let's have a look. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, a little bit more than I was expecting to see uh, for, for an engine that's done about 70,000 miles, but that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, so exactly the same process. Now obviously taking out uh, the extension, um, popping the spark plug back in, and then moving on to the second cylinder. Um, so at this stage, it's all just finger tight. I'll go along and make sure everything's uh, properly torqued and tightened down. Uh, before putting the HT leads back into the engine. Um, there we go, breaking the second plug out. Now I noticed cylinders two and three have a little bit of rust uh, around the rocker cover area. I think traditionally you get a bit of condensation under the bonnet and that can kind of trickle down into the top of the, um, the top of the rocker area and can lead to a bit of corrosion. Um, but excitingly, let's take a look now at cylinder number two. Okay, not too far off the reading we had from the first one. Pretty happy with that. Uh, it's now just a case of repeating the process now straight on to cylinder number three. I'm not going to bore you with the full process. Let's just get to the good stuff where we turn it over and get the pressures. Okay, cylinder number three coming out 193 PSI. That's not too bad. Pretty close to the other two. And then finally, uh, cylinder number four. Exactly the same process. Okay, let's have a look at the pressures. Okay, 193 again, there or thereabouts. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I guess as a summary of the results overall, um, I've come out somewhere at around the 190 PSI mark uh, overall on average, uh, plus or minus three PSI, that's one and a half percent. Pretty darn happy with that. I think it's time to treat this car to a bit more love. But first, let's put it all back together and what better place to start? getting the spark plug torques out of the Haynes manual. That's 15 Newton meters. 
So over to the Draper Finest um, Torque Wrench. I'm just going to twist that and set the base so that we're at uh, 15 newton meters before going along and uh, just clicking those off. So out comes the uh, spark plug socket. And here comes the torque action. Lovely stuff. Let's see that in an instant replay. So exactly the same process uh, going along to the other four, making sure they're all talk nicely. And now just pressing those HT leads uh, back home, uh, making sure they're in exactly the same order they were before. Otherwise it can lead to some uh, amusing situations getting the engine to start properly again. Um, so yeah, make sure you do this. Um, take your time. Just double check everything seated nicely in the channel on the top of the rocker cover. Now to reinsert uh, the relays, uh, in goes uh, the fuel pump and then the ignition to follow. And then we're ready to go. So now jumping back in just to check I haven't ruined the thing. Let's turn the car over. stuff so yep yeah, looks like the cars running pretty nicely overall so I think it's definitely time to give this car a treat to some more performance modifications I'm uh, going to be taking it up to Northampton to Jamsport uh, to have some cams and uh, a new remap uh, for the engine taking the total horsepower to somewhere around the 200 mark which in a car that weighs about 1100 kilos is pretty sporty. So thanks very much for watching all, um, and until next time, engineer out. <laughs>